we're staying in this really cute Airbnb. I have to give you guys like a little mini tour. I'm here with my friend Nicole. I think she's like using the bathroom right now. But I'm really excited for today. We don't really have much planned, not too much on the agenda. It is Wednesday and I have a work meeting so I have to do that stuff and say for my exam and basically be a graduate student <laughs> but I do have some friends and one of the guys that was in my vlog last week actually lives in London so I'm gonna hit them up see if they're doing anything tonight but other than that I'm so exhausted from the flight I just want to like sit down relax maybe take a nap and get some studying in but let's do a little Airbnb tour So this is the living room area. As you can see, it's nice and big. I love this little cowhide rug. I think it's so beautiful. I kind of want one for my apartment. It has a nice little TV. And then this is a door to the outdoor area. So there's like a nice little balcony out here. And then we have like this beautiful like little park that's right in front of our like apartment complex. And then that is actually into the bedroom. Cute little like bookshelf space. I love that they have some books. Full kitchen. They have everything here. You can kind of see me. <laughs> A little closet in here. And this is the bedroom. <laughs> and then I love these. I think they're so cool. Like just little custom artwork. We got Biggie Smalls up here. Back to the patio space. I unpacked all my things. I claimed this little dresser here. <laughs> no, I just threw everything in here. And yeah, I guess that's it. I'll show you the bathroom later once Nikki's been using it. But for now, we're gonna study, we're gonna nap, we're gonna hit up some friends and see what happens. This is the bathroom. Nicole, you blew this up. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm trying to laughs> I drank coffee. But it looks really beautiful. Oh. Nice deep little tub. Wait, is there a fan? No, no. Oh wow, storage. Yeah. Someone lives here for real. Yeah, there's cleaner, cleanser. I would think they have a little towel warmer. But no air conditioner. I mean air freshener. It's okay, I'll just live in your <laughs> poopy smells. <laughs> Don't say it like that! I ordered some Chinese food. It's really yummy, I'm excited to eat it. And then I also got some dumplings here. Let me show you guys. Okay. Ooh, a mess. I ordered some dumplings. I'm feeling kind of tired, so I think today is just gonna be like an adjustment day. Like we're just gonna sit, chill, watch the housewives, and then tomorrow we're gonna be in those London streets for sure. Good morning. So welcome to London day two. We slept in a little late because <laughs> the jet lag is still getting to us. So it's like two o'clock right now. We do have lunch plans. Our friend Susie's gonna pick me up. And if you saw my last London vlog, I hung out with Susie a lot. So I'm really excited to see her. Hopefully she brings the baby. I don't know if she's gonna bring her. But until then, I'm actually gonna do some studying because I do have to take an exam this week sometime soon. And I didn't bring any of my like traditional flashcards. So I'm thinking I might just like post on Instagram and use the slideshow on Instagram as like digital like virtual flashcards we'll see how that works out but yeah I am really really excited for today and I'm excited to take you guys with me I have like the perfect little desk area you might have saw in the room tour but I'll shoot some b-roll footage there now and I will check in with you guys later We are on our way to meet our friend Susie. She's picking us up and we're gonna go hang out with her place and see a really cute baby Sophia. Ah! Nikki looks like a doll. 
the doll baby herself, goddess. <laughs> semester of graduate school and you have to get your life together so I'm staying in I'm watching this movie it's like British getting in the pip pip cheerio vibe but I'm gonna go to sleep now Nikki's still out so let me text her and let her know it'll wake me up but yeah I think I'm gonna call it a night and I'll see you guys tomorrow bye oh wait also like <laughs> Can we talk about how big Sophia has gotten? Like, ah, I like when I watch my old vlog because she was so tiny when I saw her last. And now I'm one of those adults that's like, oh, I remember when you were this big. <laughs> wow. Ah, I love it. Okay, now I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Welcome to London Day. I think it's day three, right? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yes, day three. Today is Friday. I'm going to go to a coffee shop. I need to take my exam. I honestly do not feel prepared for it, but between Friday and Sunday, I don't think I'm gonna do a lot more studying. So I'm like, I might as well just take it now while most of the things are still fresh and like hopefully I'll do decent. Definitely aiming for like a solid 85%. <laughs> so hopefully it does, like we can get that. I think it's achievable, so. Fingers crossed, we'll see. I found this really cool coffee shop that's about 30 minutes away from our Airbnb and it has a really beautiful view of Tower Bridge. So I don't have an adapter, I lost it. Don't be like me when you travel to Europe, bring your adapter. So I'm gonna take some of my stuff over there, hopefully be able to take the exam over there and then see if I can get like an adapter along the way. And yeah, it should be it should be a fun day. So, oh, also my friend Delia just landed this morning too. So I'll probably meet up with her later tonight and like the evening-ish. But everything really depends on me getting this exam done. I'm a student first. So let's head into London.
so I just finished studying at this really cute coffee shop. I might come back tomorrow. I think it's called like Moose Tail, Milky Tail, I don't know. But it was really cool and when I was using the bathroom, I saw this little like street fair. So let's go check out this little market. I think I'm in like Dumpford, Dumpford, London. I don't know, <laughs> but it's really cute. Um, and everyone's so nice, I love it here. But after this, I'm gonna go home and take my exam because while the coffee shop was amazing and brilliant, as the British say, it did not have Wi-Fi and I definitely need the internet to take the exam. But it was nice because I didn't have the internet to distract me from studying, so I just got through the study guide. And now look, we're here. Let me show you guys the little market thing. <laughs> Made it home! Exam time. I'm so nervous. I like don't want to take it. I do not want to take this exam but it is time and let's take some deep meditative calm breaths. Wherever you are, SH all the air out. Big inhale in. Let it go with a sigh. Let's do this. It literally like records you while you take the exam. Don't you love it? Just finished my exam. So happy, I got an 84%. I love it, proud of it. I literally said 85, so <laughs> I'm happy with my score. Now I'm gonna get ready. I need to go meet Nikki for lunch. I have some time though, which is great. So lunch is at 12.30 and it's 11.18 and I need to change out of this and put on some cuter clothes but yeah i feel really good i'm happy i got an 84. So we went to Akako. Is that how you say it? Sharp? Okay, I think Nikki's lying to me. <laughs> it was really good, but sadly my stomach was like really upset. I guess I like just didn't maybe eat enough this morning before having coffee at like a not Starbucks. The coffee was good, but it tore my stomach up and I ended up throwing up in the bathroom at the restaurant. It was not good. <laughs> but they're really sweet. They made like some ginger lemon tea for me and they got me a ginger ale. So Excellent service. Yeah, really ten, good. Ten stars. And I saved it on my okay, map because I want to go back. Okay, she's getting a little nervous. <laughs> We're crossing the street. <laughs> Alright, I'll check in with you guys later. I'm going to try to get like bananas, bread, apples, like just basic food because I need to eat like something that's not too flavorful. The food was so good. The two bites I had. Ooh. Cut, and I got a banana, apple, this like little tuna cucumber sandwich, some lemon ginger juice, and then like a little fuzzy 
ginger ale as well. And then I got a little butternut squash soup. So hopefully I can have all this today, take a little nap and feel ready to go for tomorrow. British accent than I do. Pip pip, cheerio. Good morning. Yesterday I ended up being very, very sick, so I ended up staying in. I don't know like what is going on. I think maybe I got like a bug or something on the plane because I just haven't really been able to eat much while I've been here. I've been having trouble like keeping things down. So this morning I just had like an apple and some yogurt and I'm hopefully gonna go get like some Pedialyte, like some crackers, and just try to eat like plain, unseasoned things so I don't throw up again. Um, but the plan for today, we're gonna go to the V&A Museum, which is the museum dedicated to Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, and they have just like a lot of really cool like fashion seats fashionese stuff in there so they have like just a bunch of crowns and like gowns and they have like a chanel exhibit going on so that should be really fun i do want to take like one of the big red buses today i've never taken one of those before so i'm gonna do that and then later i'm gonna meet nikki she's getting ready right now and her cousin for dinner and then we'll see my friend delia is here as well so they're doing like some club rager thing tonight. I don't know. I don't know if I can do it, but I do want to at least see her and say hi. So we have a pretty full agenda. I also think I want to grab like a sweater or something because it's not it's not freezing. It's 67 degrees, but it's not necessarily like warm either. And I'm already not feeling too hot. So that's the plan. Like buying like a nice jacket. <laughs> seeing the museum getting dinner and then maybe going out tonight i'm not if i do go out tonight i'm definitely not drinking or smoking or doing anything like i honestly will just be grateful that i can be present <laughs> in the moment and actually physically be there because last night like i literally like i had i was breaking out in like sweats so i was getting chills like it was just so bad last night so i'm just happy i'm feeling a little bit better this morning but let's go to the museum also my hair is getting quite long like i'm really really happy with that wow <laughs> <laughs> Tickets, but I can't. They're like, you can become a member and then you can come see the exhibit. And I was like, 
I, it, do, it doesn't make sense for me to become a member here because I don't live in London. So, that was really cool. I'm happy I ran into her even though I didn't get to see the Chanel exhibit. I might buy something just to like have a little memorabilia of it, but yeah. We are here at the VA Museum. I'm gonna just like walk around and like see the sites. There's like a lot of cool things in the museum, so I'm really happy about that. I think I might as well just 
just like leave now, give myself enough time to get to dinner. And we'll just have like a good, good time. It's like a pan-Asian restaurant, so I honestly feel like I'm probably just gonna have like miso soup and like a bowl of white rice, but something sweeter than nothing. I wanted to go out because I don't know I'm in London I feel like I should go out but I was really sick yesterday so I also feel like I shouldn't drink and then it's like what's the point of going out if you're not gonna drink or smoke you know what I mean plus our Airbnb is kind of far so I looked up the party that we're we were going to go to tonight and it's literally like an hour away by car and I kind of don't even feel like doing that so maybe next time I feel like this is such a tamed London vlog compared to <laughs> when I was in London last summer so it's interesting to see how things change anyways I guess I'm gonna go to sleep like <laughs> we had like a very wholesome day we went to two museums and then we went to dinner and today I was able to eat like a lot more so I had like some crackers and some like just plain french fries like I literally tried to eat the french fries with ketchup and mayo and my stomach was like no so <laughs> I'm a little hungry now too but I don't even want to like risk it and try to eat anything crazy so yeah, I guess I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Nicole actually leaves tomorrow. I'm still here for another day, so it'll probably be another wholesome day because I'll be with my friend Susie and her little princess. So <laughs> I'll check in with you guys then. Have a good night. croissants and then like a little matcha from my coffee shop and then I went ahead and I dropped off the key to that like key safe place I have no idea where it was but hopefully they get it because the shop was like definitely closed which isn't ideal so I literally just like kind of left it on the door handle where like he couldn't miss it and then I took two pictures and then like fingers crossed we'll see maybe I'll try to call them today just to make sure that they got it um but yeah, so Nicole leaves today, that is the croissant, I think I just said that. And then when she leaves, I'll probably head over 
to my friend Susie's place. I have like some homework and stuff that I need to do, so I think I'm gonna have a really chill, like wholesome, like little final day in London. But I'm really excited to take you guys along with me. So let's go. same exact clothes that I was already wearing but um let's go to Susie's house I'm kind of tired and it's like an hour train ride so I'm definitely gonna call an uber I need to text her and let her know I'm on my way but I told her I had to check out at 11 and it is now 10 38 so she should probably be expecting me soon this was like a very different London trip than what I planned like if you guys watched my last London vlog I was getting like turn like I went out every night I had so much fun and then this trip I feel like wow is this what being 28 is like like I literally was like I'm tired like let me rest I got sick on Friday so like definitely wasn't expecting that so didn't really want to drink or smoke because I'm like my body is barely hanging on while I'm sober <laughs> I don't want to aggravate it by like having toxins in my body which if you think about it alcohol is like low-key a, a poison like that's why you get drunk because you it's like alcohol poisoning like you're slowly poisoning yourself which is an interesting way to think about it but yeah alcohol and smoking like cigarettes or like weed just isn't the best for your immune system and compromises it a little bit so i just feel like a sober chill girl this entire trip which is not what I expected <laughs> but I love this for me and it just means that I need to come back to London and have another hot girl summer trip so I'm rambling as always let's go to Susie's <laughs> my little matcha which I have been able to keep down which I feel like I have hope then I have my almond croissant, just some random stuff we had in the fridge, like yogurt, some soup from when I was sick, some crackers because sickness. And then at the bottom, I'll show you this better when we get to Susie's place. Nikki's auntie made some like traditional jollof rice and some meat and stuff, so we'll probably have that for lunch. All my stuff here. All right, let me put on my shoes. <laughs> I want to say to the people, so so. Oh my! <laughs> we may or may not have locked the keys inside of the house. Oh. Stay tuned for an update. Please stay Woo! Okay, update. Mo has Yay. climbed onto the roof through the bathroom window to unlock the door. I'm still babysitting Sophia. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, Susie? I feel like my husband is a very strong man. Very yes, <laughs> muy fuerte. How do you feel? How do you feel, princess? Oh, you need your hair done. <laughs> <laughs> so I think she wants to be a camera woman. New career path, new journey. I love Sophia, this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, how does it feel after scaling the entire rooftop to get the keys? <laughs> Light work. <laughs> I need some rest. <laughs> so proud of Daddy. He's so proud. So proud. <laughs> He's frozen. Daddy. I don't even get into that say, window. They say Daddy. Okay. <laughs> Daddy. You were Spider Man. <laughs> You know, I had the funny thing. There was a crowd of children on the other side of yeah, the garden, yeah. and they were like, "Oh, this is comedy!" <laughs> <laughs> like, what? I'm doing it. Like, 
they they waiting for me to drop. Obviously, they want something along. Oh my god. I was telling Susie. And then, and, then, and then as I'm going up and I'm, as I'm getting closer, they're like, oh no. Oh, oh, he might do it. He might do it. <laughs> you had that gas you up. Yeah, yeah like, no, that gas me up. I was like, nah. You're yeah, an audience. I'm going to have a snake in the. <laughs> I was telling Susie he needs to give one of them kids $20. Yeah. Oh, sure. Oh, no, it was, it was dangerous, you know why? Because they won't know exactly where to stand on the, on the uh, conservatory. Because if you step on the conservatory, you're going straight through. So I had to like uh, balance myself on like the neighbor's wall and kind of not I was with. Oh my days. Wow, oh, Superman God. in our present. So well. He's among us. He's among us. <laughs> He's here. He is here. Daddy, oh my God. Bye. Doesn't even look back. <laughs> The uh, race well, Rachel Nature's out time into the end, and that's because of this. Hello, my beauties! We've missed you! The lighting's kind of not that great, but it's fine. It's <laughs> fine. It's getting better! Oh my god, are we willing it into existence? Oh my god, so sorry. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> but we just went to the car, I like dropped off my purse, got a little, a little jerky drink. I feel, I feel good, you know? I had some food, my stomach did not hurt. So we're making progress. And oh wow. Ooh. And now we're back in the festival, yay! All right, I'll see you guys soon, cheers.
Susie approved. <laughs> Watching. Again, my name is Nika. I'm a 28 year old college graduate student at Columbia University. My huge goal is to make it to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a little comment for me, I will love you forever. Hopefully, I will be back in London next summer. Um, and until then, make sure you subscribe if you like me subscribe and follow for New York City vlogs because now we're back in the Big Apple, baby. All right. And that's my cat. I'll see you in the next video. Love you. Bye. Never break